Yeah, you're comics here talking about uh, Netflix series uh, called Big Mouth, and I uh, just want to come in. You know, I start off by saying um, that this is, uh, uh, if it was given a rating, it would be an R, uh, based on dialogue alone. <laughs> All right. Um, but uh, as you can see from the front cover, probably not like the front cover, uh, like the, well, the picture I'm using. There's more to it than just this dialogue that that definitely deserves the R rating. They, there is, yeah, this is a story. Oh, yeah, this is uh, basically uh, a show that is is about uh, starts off being about puberty. Now, in my, from what I've seen of different shows like this one, you know that, that, that talk about the subject. There are two kinds. They're basically the kinds that are more educational, the kinds that are more a parody. Yeah, puberty it was more of a parody. Though there was some, you know, in my opinion, interesting stuff in it about a young girl growing up and, and other other ca characters. Uh, see, you know, seeing her example and either being like, "What the heck," or wanting to follow her example, you know, stuff like that. But it was definitely more parody. Yeah. Then you have a show like uh, Ask Laura, which, though hilarious and fun and filled with all kinds of silly stuff, is all it seems to be more educational. Okay, you know, I've seen a few other shows like that too. But this one definitely more considered parody because not only uh, do they have you know do they you know show uh, have certain things in there about puberty they go places that can be controversial okay can be very controversial um for instance uh you know i said how in my ask or um review best and worst whatever it is called whatever i called it uh how the cat the people the people who made it uh tried didn't go you know, you know there was some the restriction there was some boundaries where they were like oh, okay we we could have this happen but instead we're going to you know bring it back tone it down to this you know less crazy thing uh big mouth uh, has restraints but not as much not not nearly not nearly they 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 go places and they do they show things that are uh, definitely pushing the envelope in a lot of different ways uh they, they have, for example, immediate, almost immediately, you know, you'll, you know, during, you know, your, the first few episodes of the show, you'll see, you know, probably in the first episode of the show, you'll see that uh, young boy, this are, uh, one with the uh, little, little mustache, <laughs> you know, and glasses, he, uh, you know, basically is visited by the hormone monster. <laughs> now, the hormone, hormone monster. Uh, is a hilarious character. So is his uh, co -work, co star, the hormone monstrous who hangs out with the girls. Uh, in in the story, uh, they're they're hilarious characters, but they are, for lack of a better term, nasty, <laughs> plain nasty. Look, because they just love to they they push boundaries, just say all kinds of stuff. They 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 really don't have much of a filter at all. <laughs> you know, you know, it's 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 basically they represent not necessarily just the dark side. So there's some definitely dark side in there, but it's more like the 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 wild side, the you know the feelings, the emotions, the you know just just like oh you know, especially especially the the, the monstrous <laughs> female, they're all monstrous because it's just like all of a sudden it's like what you know it's like you want to, it's just talking to the, girl, the redhead girls like you want to you know just shoplift things, shoplift things, you know, make up from stores, listen to this song on repeat while tearing up t-shirts, you know, you want to, you know, yell at your mother and cry at her tears, <laughs> stuff like that, you know, she's, you know, it's just emotion, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing, but of course, it's definitely some crazy stuff, because it's like, yeah, uh, and, and you know, it's definitely not the right thing to, you know there's they're definitely telling them stuff that would not be the right thing to do <laughs> here <laughs> you know because yeah with with you know the redheaded girl um still trying to remember their names but still <clears throat> redheaded girl is she jerry i think she's jerry but anyway redheaded girl is going through uh puberty she's our uh female spokesperson for you know, the female side of puberty and basically she you know is going through this all these crazy changes dealing with dealing with different things going on with her and 
then it's like going on with her physically and then her parents are having trouble <clears throat> you know you know and it is and all kinds of things like that are happening and, and then it's like you know her mother's you know says like hey why don't you put on this outfit that's that's no that will make you look well, you know, unflattering <laughs> you know will, will make you look bad you know and she's not saying that exact words but she's that's what it looks like to her so she's she basically is, is getting all antagonistic <clears throat> you know, all you know, you know yelling you know getting ticked off choking the dude that's right next to her <laughs> whenever he like oh, He's the wild, tra he's the wild one. He's the one that basically you see, well, who does stuff that you know is just plain wrong, you know. But you know that's his deal. He just is like, yeah, I'm gonna do this stuff over here. Oh yeah, you know. <laughs> it's like, no, don't do this. <laughs> like, oh crap! And it's like he fails spectacularly. It's like, yeah, yeah, you don't, you don't do that. You don't, you know. But this is like, yeah, the, she, she's just, she's just definitely having a lot of trouble, <laughs> you know, a lot of trouble. Just, just so many things going on with her, you know. Yeah, like other characters are do, have their own, doing their own things in different ways. You got, uh, you know, our, our early booming, blooming boy. He is dealing with <clears throat> different things, but it's, it's a different way. His parents are great parents, but they are basically, you know, his parents are great parents. Or is it uh, the young one, no, the smaller one with the large head, <laughs> the largest head? <laughs> no, yeah, it's the one with the largest head. His parents are great parents. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about his parents for a second. <laughs> Uh yeah, early bloomer boy. His parents are some crazy stuff themselves, in a different way than you know, redheaded girl's parents. But still, pretty pretty crazy stuff. And it's like yeah, they're very show, they're very they're very uh closed closed off. They basically don't want him doing anything. You know, you know he's they're basically like no. I was like what? This is a weird stuff. We don't know. We don't want you doing that. You know, no, stay away from that. <laughs> He was like, I don't, want, I don't want to talk about that. I never talk about that with, you know, with my dad or you know, anybody else. No, just, no, just, just, you know, just, just figure it out. Just go on, get out of here. You know, and stuff like that. It's, it's more like they don't want to engage. You know, they're having trouble with that. You know, you know, kid, the, the smallest, the one of the big heads, the big head boy's parents are great parents. They're very, they're very nurturing, but. He, you know, the issue with him is he doesn't want to be treated like a little kid anymore. You know, he's growing up too. You know, he's not as far along as the older boy, the elder boy next to him. You know, he wants to grow up himself. You know, so he's having there's just different issues, and that's causing friction between him and his parents. You got the girl with the coverall overalls on. You know, she's the youngest girl. She's dealing with different things too. You know, and it's just like, you know, it's it's it's. it's so many cool things like I want you know, the best thing we're doing best and worst type stuff best thing about this story about this this show in my opinion is the characters and the story I want to see how all these characters make out you know get along you know, I want to see them succeed. You know, I want to, you know, the story, the, the, cra you know, the crazy stuff coming at them, you know, the crazy stuff's coming at all of them in different ways. I want to see how they deal with that stuff. You know, that's what keeps me watching. That's why I really want to watch more show more episodes right now. <laughs> I got to do this because I really want to talk to people, you know, tell you, you know, talk about it. You know, I really want to, you know, but if they want to tell, tell people about it, and, and there's, you know, but make sure it's in a way that uh, can help them decide whether they want to watch the show or not. Now, of course, people are going, are hating on the show because of his animation style, of his art style, and yes, this the, these characters are an interesting style. They're definitely not very realistic, <clears throat> and definitely are not the most uh, good looking, if you, or you know, if you ask me, the best looking animation style, you know, art style I've ever seen. You know, so I think it's really cute. Uh, uh, still, I think they're all really cute in their own ways, but still, you know, definitely some people are really liking that, liking the show based only on that. <laughs> but then, of course, you get to the, the actual stuff in the thing. This show, like South Park, like Rick and Morty, unfortunately, uh, was what I would call evil genius <laughs> because not only do they talk about, you know, to go through puberty, they talk about all kinds of other stuff you know, related to it, and there's parts where that makes sense, <laughs> you know, as I said before, the parts that make sense, people are, you know, coming at, their stuff's coming at them that's making them freak out and act, react the wrong way, and they have to deal with that, <laughs> and that's fine, because it's part of growing up, that's part, that's real life, that's part of growing up, that's part of, you know, you make mistakes, you gotta do what you can to do, you know, damage, you know, do damage control, things like that, but, there's stuff in there that's just like, you know, I see it and I'm like, okay, you didn't have to have that, <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, you didn't have to have that, uh, and, and, you know, but you wanted it because you wanted it to be nasty, you know, <laughs> you know I'm like, yeah, that's, that's not, uh, no. <laughs> didn't need it, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm not going to go into details, but you didn't need that, mm -mm, nope, nope, mm -mm, nope, 
But yeah, that's that's the way they they they, they want to play it, and I'm like, okay, that's not my favorite. But again, the story and characters keep me going back. Okay, but the thing that is in this realm of that's that's more it's could be seen as yeah, definitely controversial, but not nearly just not to the point of you didn't need it. <laughs> it's so nasty and jacked up, you didn't need it. But definitely to the point of this is not you know stuff that you can watch your your whole family can look can enjoy. <laughs> you know, definitely stuff that goes past that. <laughs> you know, the PG PG thirteen rating. <laughs> you know, that this is like yeah, <laughs> we're into some crazy territory now that you know, some people will not like because it does deal with some touchy subjects. Um, in the first episode, <laughs> first episode. Uh, our um yeah early bloomer boy is dealing with oh the the, the, the hormone monster uh and in a very specific way you know there's only one way to make him you know to basically oh yeah he only he can see this guy okay this guy is in in the story he is an actual imaginary friend monster thing <clears throat> only he can see him <clears throat> okay now of course there's uh and only uh our headed girl can see the hormone monstrous but <clears throat> for the most part. But here's the deal: a uh, girl in the overalls who is a bit younger, you know, than our redheaded girl, you know, is can, can I think see him too, see her too? I think there was an incident where she showed up, you know, it was like, hey, yeah, get in there, go, 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 go for it, go for it, girl, go for it, you know, I'm like. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, yeah this, 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 this is what this is what this is about, <laughs> you know. People, you know, you know, kids, you know, these kids experiencing new feelings, growing up, starting to grow up and experience new feelings and stuff. How, what, how to deal with them? And it's like, yes, yes, they are very young looking. <laughs> you know, they are supposed to be the you know, early teens. <laughs> They look way younger than that, <laughs> and it's definitely controversial, especially when you factor in that immediately. There you are again. You have to deal with this. this the early Blue Boy has only one way of basically making the hormone monster a uh, go away for a little while. You know, again, not going to go into that much detail, but it, it is clear. <laughs> but it's very clear what is going on, <laughs> what he is doing. Uh, it happens in several episodes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> several episodes, a few times per episode. Sometimes, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> as well as the other things directly related to uh, that activity. <laughs> so it is some stuff that is definitely controversial there. But then it gets even crazier a few episodes in when our redheaded girl, <laughs> our fully blooming girl, she <clears throat> has to deal with that stuff and. It is very interesting how they do it. In my opinion, a very interesting, yeah, a way that is like can be good. Well, you know, it, is that was actually very interesting. Definitely you know, controversial, but definitely um, an interesting way of doing it. A pretty awesome way of doing it. Now, as I said before, there is a um, hormone monster for the boys and a hormone monstrous as she calls herself for the girls and this girl of course yeah is you know they they both say you know are are basically basically the, their their feelings and uh, desires that need to be controlled you know and this is like you know something like that and they're basically like you know yeah let's do this thing let's go you know that kind of stuff but with this girl <clears throat> when she was doing <clears throat> The activity, <laughs> activity, like the activity that oh, you know, oh, well, say similar. No, it is the same activity. Uh, <laughs> our boy was, you know, you know, her, literally, it was her own body telling her <laughs> to do it. <laughs> literally. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you know, that that was well done. You know, it wasn't some external force. It wasn't even the hormone monstrous who was supposed to be her new feelings. It was her own body, you know, saying, hey, let's do this, you know. And the issue here is, of course, people are going to be like, that was one of the craziest, most jacked up things I have ever seen in my life. How could this be on anything, you know, because that's not cool. But I'm like, okay, they, yeah, it is definitely grown-up stuff, <laughs> but 
are we going to, you know, is there, is there, should there be a double standard with this? <laughs> you know, we first episode, first episode, we seen the kid, the, the boy, <laughs> he was doing that. <laughs> All right. Should the girl not do that? <laughs> do that? <laughs> You know, is there some sort of thing involved there? You know, no. no. The issue with me is, as long as it is private, you know, you know, you know then there's no problem here. You know, not not something that's like going to cause problems in life. You know, if as long as it's private and controlled, I see no problem with that stuff. You know, that's the issue there. Of course, it's not really private because you you see it, but still. <clears throat> But still, I mean, like, it makes you think, it makes you wonder, you know, is that, should there, you know, there are certain things that are like, that basically make you think, <clears throat> even though they do push the envelope, they do make you think, they make you wonder, they make you try to figure this out, try to be like, is that wrong? No. <clears throat> no, it's not. <clears throat> of course, some people are going to twist that, you know, are going to use that and to say, oh, all this, this could make you do that, or this could make you, know, stuff like that, but, you know, this is not, this is something that is a real life thing, you know? So yeah, that right there, if it's, that makes it interesting, but also, again, controversial. That's definitely something that you don't just, you know, watch with the whole family. You have to, it's best to either watch it yourself, by yourself, or with someone of the same, with other people on the same wavelength. You know, they don't want someone coming in and just be like, oh, cool, this show reminds me of Molly O from, you know, Kids WB. Is it like that? Like, no, no, it is not like that. No, no. <laughs> it looks like it, but it's not. <laughs> okay, it's not. So the best about this show is the story and characters and how, in some ways, it does make you, you know, think about some things that, you know, you know in, that are in real life, <laughs> you know. And okay, so, yeah, but in other, you know, the worst is it would have to be this, you know, that they they do go for the um, unnecessary, gross out, jacked up stuff, you know, that you don't really need to, you know, they don't need to go for it, but they choose to because it's it's edgy and you know all the shows like this like this are doing it, <laughs> you know, so that's an issue there in my opinion. Though even with that stuff that they don't need, I do like it, and I say that. If you are, you know, aware of what you're going into, realizing that there is go this is not a you know, definitely not a children's show. Although, of course, people will say, "No, I watch it. I'm a kid." Oh my god, that's 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 you. <laughs> but no, this is not supposed to be something G-rated. <clears throat> this is not supposed supposed to be something that you you, you show in school <clears throat> in front of entire classrooms. No, <clears throat> no, no, no. Well, unless. It's like college. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you get them old enough. <laughs> you get them old. <laughs> you know. So no, 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 no. This is something that is definitely trying to be R-rated, trying to be a parody in some ways, but also trying to make you think and actually ponder <laughs> different things in life. You know, you know. <clears throat> should they be double standard with men and women in some ways? <clears throat> you know, because there's like there, there, there is in some ways there should be because yeah, men and women go through different things sometimes but there's some things that they do not that are the same you know that they both go through and both have to deal with you know and this show does show that off in different ways and I like that I definitely am going to go watch some episodes right now and see how, how where this thing is going yeah it, it is definitely yeah again going places some I which I like some of which I don't like you know and some which you know I don't like and you know some of which I'm like you know, a little bit split on. <clears throat> you know, I'm like, eh, this could be handled differently, but it makes you think. Or yeah, this could be handled differently. <clears throat> this makes you think. This could be handled differently. Or this makes this is, could be handled differently, but it makes you think. It's like some of that stuff's right in the middle. <clears throat> right. In the <laughs> so that's pretty cool. See you guys next time. Check me out on YouTube and even art. Got to work on a bunch of other stuff. You know, including. I'm gonna talk about different things. So my Superman stuff, I'm still working on that. You no, know, Bubsy coming out. You know, Sonic's forces is out. Bubsy coming out. I'm trying to see, I'm gonna see. You know, gonna make work on a character for Bubsy as well. Continue you work on my characters for the Light Mirrors, uh, Cuphead, the Hat and Time. I, I got I got a few characters I'm gonna work on. Uh, and you know stuff. You know, Superman stuff going. Different things is happening. You know, Superman stuff's going. Uh, yeah, soon it's gonna be over because yeah, we're finally getting. I'm finally drawing the last bit. 
getting through Doomsday Monster's memories, having our last scene, you know, after that, it's going to be great. Can finally go on to f finish. Is it power play? Power play. It's been a while. It's been a while. Power play. And then I can go on to my star, star butterfly for the voice of the evil thing. That's not canon. Saying that again, it's not canon. And other stuff like that. And on YouTube, more stuff like this, as well as my talks of, about some things I've been wanting to talk about for a long time. But, you know, you know got to get in there. Got to get working on that. Got to use the time I have for that. So, you know, I, I'm going to work on that. So see you guys next time.